Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I have filmed anything. I've been super busy. I started a new job and I've just been like working every single day. So I haven't had much time to film and I kind of just like fell off of my like filming schedule. But I'm back. I'm going to try to get on a schedule and post at least once a week. A lot of new perfume videos are coming up because I've been buying perfume like a mad woman. In this video, I'm going to be filming a affordable perfume video. All of these perfumes that I have are all under $30. I don't even think any of them even get close to $30. They're amazing perfumes, name brand perfumes. They're only so cheap because I've bought them at like Marshalls, Ross, you know, those kind of like discount stores. So the first perfume I'm going to show it is this one. So this is a little set. I found this at Ross. Actually, did I find this at Ross? Yes, I did. It was $14.99 for these three Oscar de la Renta um, perfumes. Now they are little mini sizes, but um, I settled with this because I wanted to try all three of them out. So I felt like this little set was a perfect way. The reason why I bought this whole set was specifically for this perfume. This is Bella Rosa. It has been said that it's kind of a dupe for Delina. This perfume smells so good. It's kind of like a rosy, super feminine. This smells fresh and clean. And even though it has rose, I'm not a huge fan of rose perfumes. This doesn't have rose in like a old lady way. It's like a really toned down rose and the way that it's mixed with all the other notes, it just makes it so like fresh and clean. It's not a crazy perfume. Like it's not like a unique perfume or anything like that it just smells good so in the top notes this has freesia mandarin orange and pink pepper and then you have middle notes of pink rose jasmine and oris with base notes of patchouli amber and sandalwood some perfumes i feel like do patchouli in a very like strong way i was actually at sephora the other day i really wanted to smell ysl's mon paris all of the reviews and everything that i had read said that it was like a strawberry perfume very fruity very sweet and as soon as I sprayed it, all I could smell was patchouli, but like on crack. I just didn't like it. I don't love the smell of patchouli. I think patchouli could either be done in, in a bad way or a good way. And like in a perfume like this, it's done really good because it's super subtle and I barely even smell it. But it makes the perfume a lot more longer lasting. That's what I find with patchouli anyway. Or some perfumes have just like patchouli and that's literally all you smell and that's just like too much with this it's done right i could barely even like detect it maybe slightly but really nothing crazy like when you put it on it's not the main thing you smell the main thing i smell is like rose pink pepper those kinds of notes this perfume has been compared to delina like i said it's been compared to like the miss dior perfume it's been compared to la vie belle it's a very like simple generic like i don't mean that in a bad way it's nothing like a like signature fragrance it's not like unique like wow kind of a perfume it's just like your typical smell good perfume so the next perfume in this set looks pretty much exactly like it especially on camera but this is the white one that's pink this is bella blanca this perfume to me straight up smells like a shampoo of some sort it's a very clean scent this is like the perfect like fresh out the shower smell it's so fresh it's so clean this is already clean but this is like super clean like literally fresh out the shower very like a soapy shampoo-y kind of scent in the top notes of this, you have pear, lily of the valley, and green leaves. And that pear is like the first thing I smell. In the middle notes, you have jasmine, tuberose, orange blossom, and rose. And in the base notes, you have musk, white iris, and sandalwood. I actually really like it, but again, nothing crazy. Like, it's a little similar to this. It's just like a cleaner version of this. These two are very safe. They're a very safe choice. The perfume that that is compared to is the Chanel Chance Utandra, this pink one over here. They have the same vibe. It's just like a very fresh, clean kind of vibe. And then the last one in the little trio is probably, probably my favorite, I would say, because this one has a little bit more spice to it it just has a little bit more going on than the other two this is like a going out maybe night out 
kind of has like a sexy scent to it. It's really, really good. This is Bella Essence, if I didn't already say that. In the top notes of this, you have raspberry, grapefruit, and red currant. In the middle notes, you have vanilla, rose, and jasmine. And you have base notes of umbroxan, patchouli, and musk. Umbroxan is a really cool note if you actually look it up. It's kind of like a synthetic version of the real thing. If you look at the Fragrantica website, like at the notes, it shows it as kind of like a molecule. It's just really cool if you actually like Google it. It's it's a cool note. That raspberry mixed with like the red currant, vanilla. It's a super like sweet, fruity. There's just something super sexy about this perfume and I really, really love it. I can't pinpoint like what it reminds me of, like what perfume that I've smelled. It's a very safe perfume, but it has a little bit more something than the other two. It's not as like plain smelling. If I had to pick which one of the three I would get a full size of, I would probably say this guy right here because it's the most unique out of the three and it's the one that has a little bit more character. And then completely unrelated to like an actual perfume, I bought the Bella Blanca lotion. I saw this at like, I think either Marshalls or TJ Maxx. It's like a full size lotion. And this was like, I think like 10 bucks, maybe either 10 or like 15 or something like that. This lotion just smells exactly like the perfume, just super clean, soapy, very like feminine smelling, clean smelling lotion. And so, yeah, I'm excited to have that. So next up, I'm gonna throw it back here, like throw it back like, I don't even know how many years, 20 years, I don't know how long this perfume has been out, but she's been out for a minute. This is... Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy. I definitely knew that this existed, but it was never something that I like wanted to try, you know? It was never like in my mind like, oh, I wanna try that one day. But I was watching some perfume videos as I do uh, a lot. This girl was reviewing it and she said that it smelled really, really good. It smelled better than the original. I have the original Fantasy. To me, I think it smells good. It's very sweet. Projection of that perfume is insane, it's so good. And I was expecting this to be, you know, a little similar to the original. It's not actually, it's so good. I actually went first and bought this little one. This is the one fluid ounce version and I actually keep that. This is empty right now because I keep the one fluid ounce in my bag because I usually spray it on me when I go to work or something. The amount of compliments that I have gotten on that perfume is insane. Like people really seem to like it. It's nothing crazy. Let me tell you, like it's definitely a, cr a crowd pleaser, which I feel like is why it gets so many compliments. But there's something about it that people really like. It's actually men that have compl complimented me on that perfume. Like so many men have complimented me. They'd be like having a regular conversation with me and be like, uh, what perfume are you wearing? Like as if they care to know. Here I am buying these like $200 perfumes and I get compliments on a $20 perfume. Top notes in this perfume are plum, sour cherry, and raspberry. And then you have middle notes of orchid, iris, and freesia with base notes of vanilla, amber, and musk. This perfume compared to the original is a lot more cleaner. It's a lot more fresh. Like I, I think that freesia is what makes it a lot more fresh than the original. Cause the original is kind of like straight up like a cupcake, you know, it's like super sweet, super like young girl kind of scent. This one to me, smells straight up like a blueberry lollipop or like a blueberry shampoo or something like that. It smells like some sort of like fruity shampoo, like a strawberry blueberry shampoo. Super fruity, it's a little sweet. It has a little bit of that vanilla too, but as soon as I spray this, literally all I get is blueberry lollipop. If you want to smell like that, this is the perfume for you. Um, after I bought that little one, I went back and bought this one. I got this at Burlington for $24.99. comes with like a body souffle, the shower gel, and then it comes with the 3.3 like ginormous perfume. It's for those days where you just want something simple. It's just like an easy everyday perfume. It just smells good. It's a crowd pleaser and you're for sure gonna get compliments on that, you know? It's not a very like polarizing perfume. Okay, so the next perfume that I have is Love by Sofia Vergara. I think I got this at Ross. This is the huge like 3.4 fluid ounce. It's the biggest size. And I think I got this for like 20 bucks. I think it's actually a very like expensive looking perfume bottle. It's really nice. It will look really good on like your vanity or wherever you keep your perfume. But the smell. This perfume has been compared 
to uh, YSL's Black Opium. And I will agree, it smells very similar to it. I think it's like a little bit of a toned down version of Black Opium. It's not as strong, in my opinion. This has a lot of notes going on. So in the top notes, you have passion fruit, orange blossom, green apple, mandarin orange, and then you have middle notes of Colombian coffee, orchid, coffee blossom, orris, magnolia, and then you have base notes of praline, vanilla, amberwood, and brett. I think the reason why this smells so similar to black opium is because of those coffee notes. This is a super sexy, like dark, mysterious, it's a very like womanly, sexy, nighttime kind of fragrance. I mean, it doesn't have to be nighttime, but I think this would be a really perfect nighttime fragrance. I think it would be really nice for the fall and winter. And yeah, the number one fragrance that this is compared to is Black Opium. I actually have Black Opium. Oh, whoops. I actually have Black Opium right here. I think the coffee note in the Black Opium is a lot more prominent than it is in this. They give off the same vibe, but I don't think that they're dupes. Black Opium smells a little bit more like rich. Not like rich because it's expensive, but... Well, I mean it is. It's a little bit like thicker than this. It gives me vibes of like a La Vie Belle or you know black opium. So if you like those types of perfumes, then this is amazing, especially for the cost. Okay, so the next one I have another celebrity fragrance, and this is Gold Rush by Paris Hilton. I actually got this on sale at Walmart for 15 bucks this comes with the actual perfume bottle and then you also get a little spray this is what the bottle looks like i actually really like the bottle like it looks like a little body i don't know i think it's cute if you have smelt victor and ralph's bonbon this little bow looking one i used to own it and then i returned it because first of all it didn't i didn't find that it last on me and it was just like a very generic smell it smells really good it straight up smells like a candy but if you have been wanting that perfume or you like the smell of it, this is it right here. This is a complete dupe of that perfume and it's like, uh, uh, it's crazy how much less this is than that perfume. Like that perfume is like well over a hundred bucks and this was 15. This to me, it smells literally exactly like Bon Bon, but maybe just with like an added like floral note, but it's it's so similar to it, it's crazy. In the top notes of this, you have nectarine, lemon, and bergamot. You have middle notes of orchid, rose petals, and violet with base notes of praline, vanilla, and cashmere wood. Literally, if you go onto the Fragrantica website and you look at the section where it says what their perfume reminds you of, the first one is Bon Bon. Like, it's literally exactly, it smells so similar to it, they could literally be the same perfume. This just has like a little bit more of a like fresher vibe with it too. Like, it smells exactly like it, just a little bit fresher. But if you want a dupe, this is it right here. It honestly doesn't smell like a celebrity fragrance. In the first initial spray, it's like sweet and fresh at the same time. But once it dries down, it's straight up just sweet and it's literally bonbon. If you wanted to get that perfume, but you don't want to pay that price, honey, get this. So keeping up with the celebrity scent theme, this is Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday. I don't know why, I was just like on this celebrity fragrance obsession but they're so cheap that you just like want to buy them all so this is pink friday it looks like Nicki minaj this perfume bottle is honestly goals like it's beautiful like it literally has pink hair and a gold face and i love when perfume bottles are like um have this like foggy feel to them i don't know what it is i just i don't know i like it this perfume is super generic it's a celebrity perfume you're not gonna get too much uniqueness with it. This reminds me of like every other celebrity perfume that I've ever smelled. This has top notes of starfruit, blackberry, and Italian mandarin. And then you have middle notes of lotus and star jasmine with base notes of caramel, pear, vanilla, musk, and woodsy notes. It's a really good scent, honestly. It's like fresh and sweet. I feel like I've explained that for like all of them, but it's... I don't know, it's like a different fresh and sweet vibe for like each one. It's kind of hard to explain, obviously. It's really hard to explain perfumes. This smells very similar to Justin Bieber's perfumes. It smells to me a little bit of like the original Viva La Juicy. So if you like that vibe, 
it has that vibe. Like it's a very similar fragrance. They're not like dupes. They're not completely similar. You know, that sweet, girly, like super girly girl kind of a scent. Okay, so the next perfume I picked up super like randomly. I didn't have any like plans prior. I didn't even know that this perfume even existed. I saw it at Marshall's and I was like, it looked really interesting. The bottle really looked interesting. And it looks like this. This is the DKNY limited edition fruity rudy you have like ice cream it looks like a little ice cream cone this was only 17.99 and this is the 1.7 fluid ounce it's actually a huge perfume and it feels heavy too um but i, I love it it looks like this like super cute little like round perfume so this perfume is a very like fresh and fruity kind of smell. You have top notes of blackberry, blueberry, mandarin, orange, and then middle notes of sorbet, violet, candy apple, and rose, and base notes of vanilla and lily. Literally all I get is just like a fresh fruity perfume with this. It's super fresh. I definitely can smell that blackberry and the blueberry, it almost smells to me a little bit of like a really good smelling hairspray, which sounds kind of weird, but I mean that in a good way. This is just like a very tame, everyday, no fuss, kind of like fresh out the shower kind of smell. I spray perfumes in different parts of my day. Like when I first shower and I get out the shower, I want something that's like very, you know, it's not gonna last me too long. It's kind of like soft, it's not too strong. And this would be perfect for that time. You know, this would not be like my main perfume. Maybe on a day where like, I just don't really want to wear anything. This is like just something to smell good in and you know, nice and sweet and fresh. Okay, so the next perfume is actually a perfume that is so cheap. This was $12.99. I don't even think this is like, um a designer brand or anything. I don't know. I've never heard of this brand before. This is English Laundry Oxford Blue Femme. I saw this at TJ Maxx. I've seen it at Marshalls. Those are really the only places that I've ever really seen it. And I would never gravitate towards something like, you know, those like cheapy perfumes that they have out at like Marshalls, you know, they don't really even have packaging. They're just like put there like this. And you know, you kind of like pass by them because you're like, that's not gonna really smell good. It's not really gonna stay on for long so that's why like i never really give those perfumes much attention but i went towards this one and i was like you know what like i'm gonna spray it i'm just gonna smell it i was so pleasantly surprised this perfume is not obviously nothing crazy but it actually lasts and it actually smells really good. It literally smells like what the name is. It smells like fresh, clean laundry. Like, you know when you put a bunch of like dryer sheets in your laundry, like before you dry it and like that dryer sheet, like just really fresh, clean, cottony, like linen kind of smell. That's what this smells like, like exactly like it. It's also like a little bit sweet. It's a little bit like fruity. To kind of like summarize all that together to me, it just literally smells like fresh, clean, clean out the wash laundry. <laughs> and this is one of those no fuss, fresh out the shower. I'm just gonna spray a perfume real quick so that I could smell really good. It's this guy. Oh, I almost dropped it, but I didn't. This one was a completely, another like completely on a whim kind of perfume. I don't even, I don't even know. I just saw it and I was like, what? Like I was confused that this brand was at TJ Maxx. So this is a Laura Mercier um, Eau Gourmand. As soon as I saw the Eau Gourmand and then the name is Ombre Vanille, um, I was like, okay, I'm probably gonna like that. I like any sort of like Gourmand kind of a fragrance. I had no idea that Laura Mercier made fragrance. Like I know that she makes some skincare, I'm pretty sure. And then I know that she does makeup obviously because I use her makeup, but I had no idea that she made perfume. So when I saw this, I was very intrigued. And this little perfume was $16.99. It smells so good. It smells like a mixture of coconut and vanilla. It's so edible, like super sweet. I think mostly what I smell is coconut. Okay, so I just looked up the notes and now I know why I smell the coconut. It's because there's coconut in it. This is top notes of orchid, heliotrope, and tangerine with middle notes of coconut, almond and sandalwood this is a very like powdery scent to me and the notes that i smell mostly in this is like a coconut almondy vanilla mixture i was just like trying to pinpoint what this reminded me of and i scrolled down to where it says what the perfume reminds them of this perfume smells exactly like the sol de janeiro the body spray like the brazilian crush 
This smells exactly like the bum bum cream. Like it's literally the bum bum cream, but in like a perfume. So if you love that smell, which I'm sure you do because you cannot not love the perfume. Like I have the body mist and I have the bum bum cream and this smells exactly like it. And I, I kept smelling it, trying to pinpoint what I was smelling. It's literally that, but it's like a concentrated version of those scents. So if you really like that scent, go out and try to find this. Okay, so I have a little bit of a change of scenery. I have earrings on now. Um, I've, I'm filming this a little bit later, but the next perfume that I have is this. This is the Body Shop's White Musk Eau de Toilette. I actually ordered this off of Amazon because I couldn't find it anywhere and I don't have a body shop near me. So I had to order it. Um, I had been seeing a lot of people say that this was like a huge compliment getter and it's like amazing and it was like a very, you know, soft, clean kind of scent. Um, let me be real with you. I think this smells straight up like sweat. I don't like it. It's, it's gross. I don't like it at all. Maybe, maybe, like maybe this would be okay to like maybe layer with something with another perfume or something. I don't know. I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. I think this smells like stinky. It smells smelly. It's very like animalic. Animalic? Animalic? I don't know how to say this word, but... You get what I'm trying to say. It also just gives me some really bad memories. It just reminds me of a time that I don't really want to go back to mentally. Based off of the notes, like I was looking at the notes before I bought this and I was like, oh, that's going to be a really complex perfume. It's going to smell really good because literally there is so many notes in this perfume. This has top notes of musk, lily, ylang ylang, galbanum. I have no idea what that is, and basil, and then you have middle notes of musk, lily, jasmine, and rose, with base notes of musk, iris, jasmine, oak moss, rose, amber, vanilla, vetiver, patchouli, and peach. There's a lot of notes, and so yeah, literally all I get is just a disgusting musky scent in this. I don't get how there's like so many other notes. I don't even know how there's vanilla in this. No, not my favorite not my favorite at, at all i don't know what i'm gonna do with that but i have so many perfumes that for me to reach for this perfume i just don't see that happening so i'm gonna have to like give that away or figure out what to do with it but yeah okay so the next one i have is another one i think i found this at ross you could literally find it like ross marshall's tj maxx those types of places and this is tommy hilfiger tommy girl this perfume is really good for those of you that just like a clean, fresh scent. There's not much going on in this, but it's really good. It's it's a really good, clean, fresh scent. Like it smells really good. I could see how you could get many compliments in this. It's it's not polarizing. It's just a very good, crowd-pleasing, clean and fresh scent. You have top notes of apple tree blossom, camellia, mandarin orange, and black currant. For some reason, black currant and me like just go really well together. I see that perfume has black currant in the notes. I already know that I'm gonna love it. Like for some reason, I just don't know what it is. I just love black currant. And then you have middle notes of lemon, honeysuckle, rose, grapefruit, lily, mint, and violet. And then base notes of magnolia, jasmine, cedar, sandalwood, and leather. This smells really good. It honestly gives me vibes of like a Dior or you know, like that fresh rosy kind of um clean scent it doesn't smell like j'adore but it has that kind of vibe like that very clean mature woman like just womanly feminine kind of scent that's the vibe that this gives me and it smells a lot more expensive than what it is maybe a little bit like aquatic too like you know like a morning walk kind of just like you know just that kind of vibe i don't know how else to explain it but i really really like it so that is Tommy Girl. So the next and last perfume, this perfume is very nostalgic to me because it reminds me of my mom. She used to wear this when I was like a little girl and I used to always smell it on her. Like I just remember this being on her vanity and I would always want to like steal it and put it on. This is Moschino's I Love Love. Um, as soon as I saw this pop up at Marshall's, I was like, yeah, um, I'm getting that because I know that it's gonna bring back so many memories. And that's just why I love perfume. Like it just has that capability to like 
put you in a different time and that could either be a good thing or a bad thing i think it was like 20 bucks the perfume bottle of this which i never knew and i never realized back in the day is supposed to look like olive from popeye like like with the nose and everything like that's just who it's supposed to look like and i actually noticed in the bottle down here it has olive right there like that's who it was based on which i think is cute this perfume is a great dupe it's always been said to be a great amazing dupe for dolce and gabbana light blue i actually own light blue in the past it's not my favorite it's there's something in it that i don't know i'm not too in love with the, like i i don't hate the scent it's actually a really good scent it's very fresh super like summery aquatic kind of scent but i actually prefer this so much more to light blue this is like a little bit more of a zesty um citrusy version of light blue and i think that's why i love it there's just maybe it's also because of like the nostalgia that this gives me it straight up just smells like a lemon orange bomb it smells very similar to light blue as well but just like light blue with a lot more citrus and zestiness in it and i just love it i think oh my god the memories that this gives me this has uh, top notes of grapefruit orange lemon and red currants so we got a lot of citrus going on in the top notes you have middle notes of sugarcane bullroosh um lily of the ba valley tea rose and cinnamon and then with base notes of musk cedar and woody notes i love this perfume it's such a perfect summer perfume like this would be so perfect when summer rolls around like on a just like a really hot day you throw this on and it just kind of like i feel like it just like revives you makes you feel fresh and clean and i just love the citrus smell in this like so much i'm obsessed with it it's so good something that i actually realized with this um that i think is why it smells so similar to the dolce and gabbana light blue they're actually both created by the same perfumer which is crazy i never realized that if you really love light blue or even if you like you like light blue but like you don't love it try this out because you might end up loving this a lot more um but yeah if you like the vibe of light blue you're definitely gonna love yeah, that that concludes this ginormous um affordable perfume video i hope you like this i can't wait to film the opposite version of this because i have a good collection of um some more expensive perfumes i'm waiting on one more perfume to come in the mail and then i will be filming that video but that should be out pretty soon as well i'm gonna try to get back on this schedule because i know that i've fallen off of it a little bit but i'm gonna try to get back to it and yeah i hope you guys like this video we're so close to hitting a thousand subscribers which is crazy and i know that's like nothing in the youtube world because people are over here having like 200 million subscribers like it's nothing but but um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just really excited. Um, when I hit a thousand, that means that I'll be able to get my videos monetized as well, which is crazy. And yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. Please like and please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>